Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix the procedure entry point not found dynamic link library on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So this error mostly comes up when you try to install any application like Roblox or any other application. So I will be sharing the very effective solution that is 100% working and that exactly what you need to do on your PC and laptop. And if this works for you, do not forget to like and subscribe. First, what you will have to do, you need to click on your search box, type CMD, right click on command prompt and choose run as administrator. The black window will be coming up. Now here you have to type uh, one command that will be SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter. Now this command will be scanning all kind of system file for any kind of integrity violation. So this will take some time so what we can do we can minimize it next you have to click on the windows search type virus from the suggestion choose virus and threat protection now here you will be getting an option is scan options click on scan options and then you have to select quick scan and then click on scan now now this will be scanning for any kind of malware or any infection that is on your pc or laptop Probably that is stopping to install that kind of application and giving you such kind of error mask. Now this will again take some time so we can minimize it. Next you have to open any of your favorite browser like Google Chrome and then you will be getting a link in the description. You have to copy that link from the description paste into your browser and you will come to this website called Visual C++ Redistributable Packages for Visual Studio 2013. Once you come here, here you see an option of download and you can choose your preferred language from the drop down. So I will go with the English right now. If you want to go with any other, you can choose the language. Then click on download. Now it will ask you that what kind of architecture of operating system you are using. Is it 64 bit or 32 bit? So in order to find it, you have to click on your search box type system. And from the suggestion, you have to click on system information. And here you will see system type x64. So it, that means it's a 64 bit operating system. But if it shows you x86, then it means that it's a 32 bit operating system. So I will go with 64 one. So you have to check this option and then click on next. And it says if your download does not start after 30 seconds, you have to click here. So I can click here to download it. All right. And now you can see that the file has been downloaded. So you have to click on it. Check the option of I agree to the license terms, then click on install, then click on yes. The installation will be started and it says set up successful. So once you are done, you have to close it. Next, again, you will be getting another link in the description. You have to copy it and that will be for Visual C++ redistributable for Visual Studio 2015. Once you come here again, you have to choose your language. Then you have to click on download, choose your operating system. And then you have to click on next. Once this has been installed, you have to again click on it. Check the box, click on install and complete the setup. And once it's been done, you have to close it and then come back to the command prompt. And here you can see the scan has been completed and it says Windows resource protection did not find any integrity violation. So probably you will get the same message or any other message like Windows resource protection found some integrity violation and automatically fixed it. All right. So whatever message you get, you have to close it. And then we have to open the scan of the virus that we just ran. And it is still running. So you have to wait and let it complete it 100%. So once it's been completed, you have to restart your PC. And after that, next time when you will try to install or open that application you won't be getting it that error message anymore so that's all guys hopefully this solution will surely work for you and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe for any question any problem let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye